the premier of the Honda uh, Hurricane class. And of course, so we'll want the... Uh, something down there as uh, as uh, the field now is taken off and heading up into turn number uh, three and four. Roll off settling into second spot till they can find a way around and then it should take over that uh, position for the lead in the 750 class. I can look like he's about to do that right now as they head up the hill. The open class bikes are already out and underway. side and a turn number eight Sony had to give as uh, they had to lean hard their bikes over uh, to the uh, right as they approach that turn at about 150 miles an hour uh, this uh, Ford truck right down in front of us here with the headlights on top of it you cannot park there please you are in a uh, very dangerous area Results to race number four now posted. Results to race number four now posted. Amazingly enough, Roloff is way down here in 12th position, but he's uh, he's in that 750 class. He's leading the 750 class and already starting to pick his way up through the open class. Here we go. In the lead right now, it's bike number 10. And that is Marty Siegel. Marty Siegel is first race of the day out in front. Mike Minnick doing a good job in second spot. It's been a long time since Mike's ever even won a race, but he's always up on the leaderboard, but he can never quite get in for a win. I think he's probably won maybe one or two races all last year. In third spot, Rob Reinen, a multi-class champion in club racing. He's running in third spot. In fourth spot is Louis Estrella doing a good job in fourth, bike number 112. In fifth spot is Curtis Adams on the Suzuki. In sixth spot is bike number 181. That's Curtis Adams. In seventh spot, 278. That's Greg Worthy on a Yamaha. In A spot is bike number 711, and that's Barry Taylor on a Suzuki. And then Jeff Higgins coming down here leading the 750 class. Here they come. Look at this. Minnie's going to take over the lead. Oh, and he surprised. He surprised the heck out of Marty Siegel as he uh, went around him and goes into turn number one. So Mike Minnie taking over the lead. It's the first time Minnie's even led a race for a while, and it should be a good race between Minnie and Siegel as they head around turn number two. We get confirmation that Hagen is leading the 750 class. We've got to find out where Roloff is. Hagen's running in fifth spot overall. Roloff running in sixth spot overall, and they're dicing for that 750 lead. Too bad for uh, Chuck Graves. He ran out of gas on the, uh, on the uh, starting line and had to come back and put gas in it, but it was too late to run, so he's not even going to run in the race. Carl Nagy, Carl Nagy to the Curtis Maddox van. You, know, you might want to check the snack bar for Carl Nagy. He can't hear me in there. Okay, we're looking for our leaders in the open class, and it looks like it's Minnick, and Minnick's trying now to pull away from second place. Siegel. Minnick on his way to maybe winning his first. 
first race ever. Let's find out. It's been a, if it has, if he has won before, it's been a long time since he's won one. And here comes Minning on a very potent and very powerful motorcycle coming down the front straightaway. Mike Minning on a Bellflower out in front. Marty Siegel, I think, out of Santa Barbara, running in second spot. And then in third spot, way back there, running in third, bike number 54, and that is Rob Reinen. Uh, Stuart Wilkins to the uh, uh, announcer's tower, please. You have a phone call. Stuart Wilkins to the uh, announcer's tower, you have a phone call. Jeff Hagen is definitely murdering this field as he knifes his way up through open production traffic. And Roloff is back in there, too, as he's trying to get around some uh, traffic, but it's holding him up. Hagen's clear of the traffic. Roloff can't find his way around it, and it's getting him farther and farther back. Jeff Hagen may be on his way to beating Roloff, and I believe that would be a first. Siegel from Redondo Beach. Uh, he's running in second spot. Uh, Mike Minig, also from Southern California. He's leading right now. In third spot, it's Rob Reinen. He is also from the Southern California area. But in fourth spot, it's Jeff Hagen and Earl Roloff in a battle royale. And surprisingly enough, up there with him is uh, Tom Lynch. That's bike number 958 on the Suzuki, keeping him in sight as Minig and... Uh, and Siegel go by just in tandem going into turn number one. In, in third spot, it's Rob Ryan, and in fourth spot, there goes Hagen, leading the 750 class, and look at this, uh, battle royal for second spot between Roloff, and oh, they almost touched it, Tom Lynch, and finally, uh, Lynch had to give away, did Roloff get second? Roloff got second, Lynch still in third spot. Uh, they've had problems with that motorcycle in the past as well, and he's pulled off again out of the race. 181 Curtis Adams out of the race. We're looking for our leaders. Down that back straightaway they go, and surprisingly enough, Jeff Hagen holding off the uh, winningest rider in club racing history, Earl Roloff, and of course Tom Lynch, a newcomer as well. He's on a Suzuki, can't pick up any Kawasaki money, but uh, Hagen, who's on a Suzuki as well, can keep Roloff from winning any more money. And look at this. Uh, the battle now is tightening up for the lead as Minig started to pull away from uh, Siegel, but Siegel now is starting to pick it up again for the overall lead. And look at this. For third spot, Hagen's going to take over third from Ryan, and Roloff now is broken free from Lynch a little bit as he takes over second in that class fifth overall as uh, Hagen works his way around Ryan. And now it's up to Roloff to work around Ryan and go after the leader. He, he, right now, he's got $200 from Kawasaki. He'd like to pick up $200 more if he can get around Hagen. Hagen on the Suzuki, roll off on the Kawasaki. And Tom Lynch, surprisingly new rider, Tom Lynch in only his fourth race ever, out here in third spot and keeping a veteran like Roloff in sight. There's a story right there in itself. stock production. That's the introduction of the Honda race, the 450 stock production, up to the free grid. Curtis Maddox to the starter, please. Curtis Maddox to see John Rowley at the start-finish line, please. 
Okay, it looks like now uh, Hagen still holding on to the lead in that 750 class. A roll off in second. Rhino now back in third in that open class. And 958 Tom Lynch running third in that class. Tom Lynch out of Bakersfield, California, one of the local riders who live about an hour from here. He's on a 750 Suzuki. He's on Michelin tires, sponsored by Tom Lynch's Electrics. And uh, no wonder he's doing so well in road racing. Tom Lynch, a dirt tracker when he's not road racing. And these dirt trackers, they know how to throw that rear end out and keep it out there. Now, Tom Lynch, we may be hearing more about this kid. This is his first race ever in his first year, and he's only 16 years old. And already he's keeping a veteran like, uh, like uh, Roloff uh, honest.